Hello and welcome to Geeky and Tweaky. In this video, we are starting a complete setup guide for the Amazon Fire TV Stick. This video was getting unusually long, so I have decided to break it into three parts. In the first part, we'll talk about all the methods and tools we can use for controlling the Fire TV Stick. In part number two, we'll see how we can get apps from the Play Store onto the Fire TV Stick. And in part number three, we will see how to get live TV and media streaming on the Fire TV Stick. So let us start with part number one. We are going to talk about six methods of controlling the Fire TV Stick. Apart from the regular remote and the Fire TV remote app, we will see how we can toggle the mouse pointer using the mouse toggle app. We will also see using a TV remote to control the Fire TV Stick. This will be followed by use of a physical mouse and keyboard for the control. Before the closer, we will see C-Display app which can act as a remote and much more. Now everyone knows about the regular remote. When you start the Fire TV Stick for the first time or after the factory reset, the first thing it asks you is to pair a remote. Start pairing by pressing the home button and when asked, confirm with the play pause button. The Fire TV remote works fine most of the time. But when it comes to entering long text, whether it is for search or for URL, it is not the most convenient one. That's when the second method comes in handy, which is the Fire TV Remote app. Download it from the Google Play Store on the phone and search for the Fire Sticks available on the local area network. When connecting for the first time, it will ask for a four digit code, which is displayed on the screen. Enter the code on the mobile app and the pairing cannot be easier than that. Certain apps which are not designed for the Fire TV Stick may need a mouse input. That's where the third input method will come handy. The Fire Stick has a built-in mouse pointer, but it has to be enabled. An app called Mouse Toggle exists for just this purpose. Before installing this app, we have to go to Settings, My Fire TV and then Developer Options. Inside Developer Options, enable ADB debugging and permit installation of apps from the unknown sources. Back on the home screen of Fire TV Stick, go to search option and download the app called Downloader which is available on the Amazon App Store itself. Now launch the Downloader app and enter the URL as shown to download the mouse toggle APK file. The mouse toggle app has a background service which will always run. Go to the ADB settings and disable enable once. The app will ask for permission, simply grant it and always allow. Now back to the app. Disable and enable the service once. And in a couple of seconds, the status of this service will change from stopped to started. And there it is, it is started. Now let's go back to the home screen. We will start the downloader app to check the mouse toggle functionality. The browser part of the downloader app has a built-in mouse pointer that is visible as this orange color circle. Now to enable the mouse toggle functionality, what you need to do is Press the play pause button twice very quickly on the Fire TV remote. Now you can see there is a grey colored circle. This is the mouse toggle mouse pointer. You can move it around with the D-pad and press the central select button to simulate a mouse click. Next, let's see how we can use a TV's remote to control the Fire TV stick. For this, there is a setting that needs to be enabled on both the Fire TV stick as well as your TV. Go to the display and sound settings and the last option here is called HDMI CEC device control. This has to be switched on. This is on by default. 
Now go to the TV settings with the TV remote and look for the option related to CEC control. In my TV it is available in device preferences. In your TV it may be named slightly differently and positioned somewhere else in the menu. Just look for it. In my TV also this option was enabled by default but you can toggle it if it is off. And that's it. Once the setting is enabled on both sides, the TV remote can be used to control the Fire TV Stick UI. From this point onwards, you don't need to juggle between the two remotes. Please do note that this feature may not be available in some older TV models. And now let's see how to connect a physical mouse and keyboard with the Fire TV Stick. Normally with a Fire TV Stick package, you get the Fire TV Stick, the remote, this adapter cable, a wall charger and a micro USB cable. Apart from this regular setup, you will need a USB OTG cable with three ends. This cable has got a micro USB female port, a male port and a regular type A female port. This cable is inserted between the power adapter and the Fire TV stick. This supplies the extra power for the USB devices we are going to connect with the Fire TV stick. Now the type A port that we have in between can be used to connect any peripheral devices or storage devices like a mouse. So you can connect the nano receiver of the wireless mouse into the OTG cable and then you can control the UI of the Fire Stick using the mouse. If you want to connect more than one device, you can use a USB hub like this. This hub will split the USB OTG port into four sub ports. So connect it to the USB OTG cable and then using the four split out cables, you can connect up to four devices in parallel with the Fire TV stick. Say on one of the port, we can connect the wireless mouse. You can connect a memory stick on the other port. Even a card reader, let's say you have recorded some videos from the camera, you can directly plug in the memory card into the card reader and plug it through the OTG cable. Above all, you can even connect a physical keyboard which will be easier to type in when you need to make long search queries in the Fire TV stick. With this setup, you can use your Fire TV stick as a mini computer web browsing or light work will not be a problem at all. The physical mouse and keyboard greatly enhance the usability of this device as a mini computer. This is how my usual setup looks like with the Fire TV stick. With the USB hub in place, I can use external storage devices to complement the limited internal storage available on the Fire TV stick. Navigation in the file browser and in the web browser is a breeze with the help of fluid movement of a mouse and the physical keyboard. And now let us talk about the last app for part 1 which is Cetus Play. This app is available on Google Play Store. Install and launch the app on your mobile. It will show you all the Fire TV or Android devices available on the local network. When connecting for the first time, it will ask for ADB debugging permission. And after that, you click on the Fire TV stick. It will display a 4 digit code on the screen. Enter the code on the app just like the official remote app and the pairing will be completed. Now this app is much more than just a remote. It can clean up the memory, it can install uninstall programs and it can even stream media. So there are many uses for this app. But in this part one, we are only talking about the remote functionality of this app. In part two, I will show you six different methods of installing apps onto the Fire TV Store, including the Google Play Store, the App Android Store and Apps to Fire. Consider subscribing to the channel for future video updates. Till then, like, subscribe and share. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye for now.